That's right. You need that volume up to at least 800 decibels if you're going to catch everything here. Back to the phones we go on um, Open Line Friday. Greg in Port Huron, Michigan. I'm glad that you waited. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm superb. Thank you. So I'm 19 years old, and I've been listening since 2008. My dad's been listening since 1989, and my 13-year-old brother's been listening since 2015. So we've been listening for a while. That's awesome. I appreciate it. I bought him the books, too, for Christmas, and he liked them. And I just signed up for the Limbaugh letters, so it's pretty cool. But well, what, did you join the website, too? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, come on, man. You can't do all that and not join it. Well, here, we're going to comp you. We're going to make you a complimentary member at RushLimbaugh.com. And that means you go out, you get the app. You have a phone? You have an iPhone or anything? I, have, uh, so. I just have an old flip phone. I don't have an iPhone yet, so. You don't have a flip phone? Yeah, it, it, that's, I'm calling out a landline because my flip phone has bad quality, so it's. Well, I'm. Appreciate that. The only people that use flip phones are criminals now. You know that. I know. It's just, yeah, it's it's stupid. But <laughs> well, okay, yeah, okay. Well, look. Since I'm in a good mood today, we'll throw in. Um, I'm going to give your choice, and this is before you've even said what you called about. I have uh, some iPhone tens here, and I have some iPhone eights and eight pluses. And I, and I don't want to give the, the 10 short shrift. I mean, it is state of the art. But these 8s, especially the 8 Plus, they're, they're awesome iPhones as well. So you can take your pick of whichever one that you would like. And then when you get that, then you can go get the RushLimbaugh.com app after we comp you your one-year membership to RushLimbaugh.com. So which one? Are you versed? Do you know what an iPhone 8 Plus is, an iPhone 10? Do you know I've been listening. I, I think I honestly want the 10. I've seen a lot of commercials on TV, and it yeah. seems pretty cool. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you. It's the one with Face ID, and it, it has uh, – it is. It's state-of-the-art. It's there's, there's nothing like it, and it's two years ahead of any competitor out there to come up to Apple speed on this. So it's a wise choice. So well, you thank need- you. It means a lot to me. Well, you need to hang on after this so we get your address and stuff and uh, get the phone. You'll get it next week. It's unlocked. It has no SIM card in it, so it'll work on any carrier. Now, what was it you called about from Port Huron, Michigan? Well, we're a very liberal town, unfortunately. It's a border town, and we've been hurt by NAFTA. We, all our jobs kind of went away. But, um, I'm, you know, I voted for Trump because he wanted to get rid of NAFTA, wanted to bring back jobs. And, you know, I'm tired of looking at empty factories and stores and stuff, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. But... One of the things is we had the government shut down again, and everyone keeps blaming you know, Democrats or Republicans, but my real question is, why are we in debt anyways, and why can't we just make the government smaller so we can have less shutdowns and have a better budget? Well, you know, to, to answer this thoroughly would require a, an in-depth history lesson which I would be more than happy to provide, but we don't have time for it here. So I need to give you the Cliff Notes version. The, uh, the Founding Fathers recognized the threat. They knew what, what democracies go through. They know the pressures that, that, that hit democracies. And uh, one, of the, one of the early people around the founding of the country, I, f- I forget who, it's somebody famous, once the voters figure out that they can vote themselves money, then it's over. Now, it's not over immediately, but this is exactly what has happened. And so you ask, why are the government, why is the government shut down politics? Why, why are we in debt? It's, it's because the job of members of Congress is to spend money. Yeah. And this is how they get reelected. They they build a bridge or a dam in the district or the, or the state or they get an old folks home built. Or, I mean, look, there's so many different reasons that are all qualified to explain this to you. But at the end of the day, the reason is because the people want it. The people are voting for people who do this. And since you know, I'll tell you something, you're you're 19. Yeah, I just turned 67. When I was your age, my grandfather. And people his age were telling me that if we didn't get a handle as a nation on the national debt, 
that by the time I was ready to retire, I wouldn't be able to because the country would be in such dire financial straits. So I spent my early years thinking the national debt was something really important, and I saw it get bigger and bigger. I never heard anybody talk about reducing it. And I remembered people I trusted and loved telling me it was going to be the end of the country. Now, here I am, 50 years later, and we're in the midst of an economic revival. The national debt is over $20 trillion. It was doubled in the eight years of Obama. We are running budget deficits every year. And I have yet to see any evidence that the national debt is causing us any harm at all. The theory is that if the government owes so much money that they have to borrow to pay money and the interest on that debt, that that leaves less money in the private sector for people like you and me to borrow, to buy homes, to buy cars, whatever we would need to borrow money for. That hasn't happened. I mean, the credit markets are wide open. Look at people's credit card debt. Nobody's saying no when you want to borrow money unless you're an absolute total risk. So all these things, and I still don't have an answer for this. And I I can still find people, uh, Greg, who sound today just like my grandfather did 50 years ago. The national debt will be the end of the country. Look, I wish the government was smaller because I wish more Americans felt they didn't need it. I wish the government was smaller because I don't like it involving itself in every aspect of as as many aspects of people's lives as they can, because there's a certain political class that wants to do that, believing that you and I are incompetent and and incapable. They want to manage our affairs, manage our lives for the the sheer power of it. Um, But man... You get there, I guess, and the idea that you have all this money to spend and people love you after you spend it, it's got to be its got to be a, a heck of an aphrodisiac. There have been people try to make the government smaller. The Republicans balanced the budget uh, one time in 1995. Yeah. Uh, but it's, in a, in a theoretical sense, ideological sense, the government getting smaller, less intrusive is what it means, really. When the government shut down, it really doesn't. It just, we go a few days without money to uh, make certain transactions, but the government never shuts down. In fact, it'd be great if it did. Well, I know that, but a lot of people my age, when they hear the government shut down, they think, oh, we're going to live on the streets and won't have any money. And well, see, that's, that's my point. Look at what people have been made to think. If government isn't there, life cannot go on. And yeah. that's absurd. I live just fine without the government. It doesn't, you know, just like require to have health care. You know, I can't work more than 19 hours a week because I have to have health care. But I'm young and I'm not sick. Same thing. You know, I just don't need government telling me what to do. Right. It's- well, you know, what I would urge you to do is not change. We're going to need as many people like you who who learn this stuff at your age and then hold on to it and, and learn how to defend it, fight for it and all that, because you're going to be up against people your age, just like you described, they they get almost descend into a panic when they hear the government shutting down. They don't even know what it means, but they still they still get into some sort of great fear that that something's not going to be able to be available or happen or whatever. It's 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 a great illustration of just how successfully the big government crowd has been in convincing people they can't live even a day without it. Well, don't worry, because, you know, last week you talked about the poop hole story where our San Francisco had the poop piles and stuff, and I shared it on Facebook, and my Facebook got shut down a couple hours later, and I still can't, I'm banned from it from sharing that post of yours, so it's... Wait a minute. That was the story they had. There's so much poop in the public streets in Frisco that they had to put a map out. Yeah. So people could avoid it. You, you put... I shared it on Facebook. My Facebook got shut down. And it's you, still wait a minute. Shut off. Did you share it from RushLimbaugh.com or just one of your own compositions? No, it was from your website. And it, they and they and they did what? They shut it down. Said it could have been a dangerous source. And it said it could be filled with bots or viruses. And they I called this a dangerous source. Yes, it did. And I sh- I showed everybody, and they they couldn't figure it out. It was like it didn't make any sense. Just a Honest story, and it got shut down. See, this is why I told Rachel earlier that this stuff, social social media, is a, is a sewer. I can't believe that they should, because I'm not a credible source. Is that what they said? Exactly. 
it, I'm happy not on Facebook anymore. You know what? I've had enough people attacking me and then Facebook going after me. They do this a lot. They'll censor my posts. A lot of them are yours. They'll, ask, they'll censor them and say we have to have a. This approval. is good to know. This, see, this is why you need to get the Rush app and start sharing from the Rush app to other people. You can try it, Facebook and Twitter and so forth, but develop your own network. This is going to be how we counter this. That poop story wasn't even, I didn't make it up. That I was know. from the liberal media somewhere. I still have the website here. I've still got the map of where the poop is on the streets and the corners and the alleys of San Francisco. It wasn't my, ma- I didn't make it up. I know you didn't. It's just, that's just how it works. You know, they're censoring me everywhere. It's just, you know, it, it's incredible, but. They are censoring, the, well, yeah, they're censoring you. But if you had posted that on your own, it might have made it by. But since it came from Rush Limbaugh, they're 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 just. I didn't know they were that blatant about. It. I'm glad you told me this. That alone is worth the iPhone. <laughs> Speaking of which, hang on, don't hang up. We we need to get your address and some other things for you to comp your membership at uh, at RushLimbaugh.com for a year. So. Hang on, Mr. Snurdly will be right back with you. 